So, I have received this question a number of times. And every time I see it, I laugh. <laughs> I giggle to myself. So, I'm going to talk to you guys about this one. Um, the question says, what does it mean when an ex-lover likes your posts or pictures on social media? So, we're going to talk about this one because I see this happen a lot. I've done it myself. I see this a whole bunch. So, let's get into the introduction and then we're going to talk about this. I am Queen Alset Haru, and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and pass it on to anybody and everybody who might like it too. Please leave us a positive comment in the comment section. And um, let's see. If you'd like to get a reading done or any Ask an Aquarius merchandise or talk to me on social media, all that information is underneath this video. You can also join our, uh, our channel. We have the join button up there. And the join button is all about extra freebies that I put out during the week that you'll be able to see as a member that other people can't see. You can also join us on Patreon. Because on Patreon, I leave exclusive videos that, uh, that I don't release on our general channel, okay? Until the season is over. Usually at the end of the season, I release some of them, and sometimes I don't. It just depends on what's going on. Over the month of August, I released a lot of old videos. So what does it mean when your ex-lover likes your posts and pictures on social media? Well... <laughs> I'm thinking of a time that I've done this before. First of all, it means that they miss you. I mean, let's just get the, you know, the, let's just address the elephant in the room. They miss you. Why else would your ex look up your social media, especially if they're not on your page? Because none of my exes are on my page. So why would your ex look for your page and then start liking posts and pictures? So clearly they miss you. I mean, like, let's just get that out the way. They clearly have been thinking about you. They must miss you. And more than likely, they want you back or they wish they could have you back. Because remember, some of the times your ex may be with a new person. You may be with a new person, you know? But nine times out of ten, this kind of thing shows that they are paying attention to what you're doing. And they probably would like to have you back in their life if that's realistic or not. And... I noticed that when this happens with a lot of people, sometimes they do end up getting back together. You know, sometimes they do. But, you know, I was watching a movie once and um, I saw, it was interesting, the, the comment that the gentleman made. He said, going back to an ex is like taking a shower and then putting back on the dirty clothes that you took off. <laughs> The movie is called, what is it called? Love in the Villa? I think it's on Netflix. And I just watched it a couple days ago, and that was his analogy. And I do not have a problem with going back to ex-lovers. I'm a revolving door Aquarius. That's what we do. But I do think that if the person has not changed, that you're wasting your time. Because whatever problem you ran into in the past, if they haven't changed or you haven't grown, probably simultaneously, you probably both had things to change. And if you haven't changed those things, nine times out of ten, you're going to end up breaking up with them again. So you're just wasting your time. So I get what he said about the dirty clothes, you know. But if those clothes have been washed, they can be worn again. <laughs> okay? So usually if that's what's going on, that's what it means. And some of the times, I know with me, I'm an Aquarius, so I'm not always, I haven't always been expressive. So a lot of times if I liked something, because I might look at your page, I might look at your page periodically and not like or, you know, comment on anything or post on anything, you know, because I don't really, most Aquarius and I think most people, they don't want you to know that. So if they do like something or they post something or something like that, then that person is revealing themselves. So for an Aquarius, I know specifically, but also for other, you know, signs, that person really wants your attention. So they want to get your attention without saying anything to you. And maybe you'll send them a message. You know, maybe you'll see them, you know, like something and be like, hmm, I do miss this person. So it really is a way of reaching out. But the question is, 
Is it healthy? That's what I must ask you. Is it healthy? Because if it's not healthy, don't respond. <laughs> don't respond. Certain exes of mine, when they say anything or they send anything, I do not respond. Or if it's somebody that is toxic, I block them, you know, and move on with my life. Remember that because it could be a way... If you have a person who is toxic, narcissistic, you know, somebody like that, it could be a way of them trying to get in your mind to let them back into your life, you know? So you got to be really careful with that. Some of the times it's not a good idea. And other times they might just want closure. I've had exes communicate with me who just wanted closure and it was fine. You know, there's so many different things that can happen in this situation and the way that you handle it. You just got to discern, use your, your intellect, your intellect and your spirit and your emotions. Use all of that to discern how you should handle it. So that's in general what it means. All right. All right. So let me see. We got, uh, we got some positive comments in the comment section. So I'm going to read the first one. Mrs. or Miss Bridges. Miss Bridges said, I didn't know Chris, Chris Rock, was an Aquarius. Yeah, he thought about where he was because we Aquarius are a little crazy. <laughs> you start it and we finish it. I will always like Will. He's from Philly. This like me. Philly, what's up? Uh, let me see. One mistake, hell. We have all had one or more. The public don't know ours, but we do know theirs. So I agree. I agree. I told you guys, Will is my boy. You know, I don't like Chris Rock that much. And not to say that it's okay to slap him <laughs> because I don't like him. I'm not saying that at all. And he is Aquarius. So, you know, I got to, you know, speak up for my Aquarius brother. But I'm not really a Chris Rock fan. I, I like him a little bit. You know, certain. He had a special called Bigger and Blacker. That was funny to me. So he's had some things I've liked over his career. But that still doesn't mean that Will was right to pop him, you know. And I've said before, you know, and I'll say again, that I do love Will to death. Um, I still love Will. I still watch his stuff. I still support Will. And I did, you know, really appreciate the apology that he gave. Um, but she's right. We all have made major mistakes. I will not accept people saying that they've never made any kind of mistake. Because throughout our lifetimes... From birth all the way up, we've made repeated mistakes. And the thing about it is, is that celebrities, we all see their mistakes, you know? They don't know our mistakes, and other people don't know them unless they go viral, you know? So I agree with this statement 100%, because some of the things that I've done, you guys know. <laughs> I'm not proud of them, you know. I got flaws, you know. I've done things that wasn't appropriate, you know. I never ran up on stage in the in the middle of an international show and slapped somebody. But I have done things that, you know, probably, not even probably, I've done things that weren't appropriate. I've done, I've snapped, <laughs> you know. I've done things that weren't good or weren't right, you know. I've lied or cheated or something like that, treachery or something like that. And we all have. It's just the fact that with these these people, we get to see it on the screen and we get to critique it on the internet, you know? How would you like somebody looking into your personal life critiquing your behavior, you know? Um, I don't like it. <laughs> I'll tell you straight up, I do not like people critiquing my behavior, but it happens, you know? That's human nature. Our next comment comes from Is Al Dean L. Sid. What's up? Hey. Let's see what is said. Now I'm going to risk sounding like a Libra, all diplomatic. Sound like a Libra all day. I love Libras. Although I am an Aquarius. Okay. I just believe in a different climate. Both of them would love the hell out of each other from an astrology point. I remember Will's best man still is DJ Jazzy Jeff. He is an Aquarius. Okay. Okay. So yeah. According to the Zodiac, Will Smith is Libra and Chris Rock is Aquarius. So according to the Zodiac, that's a really good match. My favorite relationships, platonic and not platonic, were with Libras. I love Libras. Now, all Aquarius don't feel that way, but a balanced Libra, whew, 
A balanced Libra can give me a call any day. That is my kryptonite. He was the DJ who helped Will to showcase his talent, and they're still great friends some four decades later. Agreed. Like Dr. Dre, Aquarius, and Eminem, Libra. That always shocks me that Eminem is a Libra, but it it, it does make sense because, you know, in some ways, some Libras can be kind of grouchy, you know, but he, I guess for me, because I don't know him personally, I would like to see more of that Libra charm, you know, when I meet a Libra, I'm always looking for that charm. Um, I'm certain in this decade, we'll hear Chris Rock and Will Smith are more like brothers and working on projects together. I think that would be a beautiful ending, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be a beautiful ending if they kissed and made up and did some projects together? Maybe projects, uh, anti-violence projects. That would be really cool, you know? Um, um, alopecia projects to help women or people who have alopecia. That would be cool. Um, it would be wonderful if they turned this into a positive. I would, I love that. You know, I'm really corny, guys, and I love stuff like that. I love to see a negative turned into a positive. So if they did a fundraiser, for example, for people who have, you know, baldness and hair loss, or if they did some type of a fundraiser for people, you know, in the inner city, you know, to come away from violence, you know, because Chris even talked about how he had been bullied and uh, Will talked about the effect that violence had in his own family. He said his mother, um, his father punched his mother in the face, you know, so both of them told some of their stories before and after this happened. And I think it would be a beautiful ending. Is You're right. That would be a beautiful ending. All right, guys. It's time for us to get going. So you come back soon because I got so much more to say. See you later.